Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do, now this is a step you don't have to take, but I took it. I'm using the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread. You can use any bread you want, but this is one point a slice. Um, you can use any other one point bread or, like I said, any bread you want. But this bread was super, super soft. And I was afraid it was going to get mushy because this has to sit in the refrigerator at least 30 minutes or overnight. So what I did, I just went ahead and sliced it up and cubed it. I've just let it been sitting over here. Every now and then I come over here and I do this. to When the top kind of starts to dry out, then I pull the soft ones back up. So just to, they're not completely stale, but just to help dry them out just a little bit. While I did a couple other things and then got all the ingredients together. So that, like I say, that's just a step you can take or not. And then it would depend on your bread too. Now if you notice, there's a couple oddball looking pieces of bread mixed in through here. We went out to eat last night and they give you a dinner roll with your meal. And so I brought those home. They set out over here overnight because <laughs> frankly I just let them sit there. And so they were nice and, you know, still on the outside this morning. They're still soft enough. They're not like croutons or anything. They're, you know, so I gave half of one to my hermit crabs and just keep the other ones up and put them in here there's no sense to waste it when i already got a pan of bread sitting here so that was just a little bonus <laughs> so i sprayed my pan nine by 13. so i'll set this to the side and then we're going to start mixing up our egg mixture so what i have in here already is and i have to go ahead and beat them i sure did let me do that right quick is eight eggs I got busy I normally but I got my quiet whisk so I don't feel too bad <laughs> let me turn that around okay sorry now to this the eight eggs we're gonna add I meant to show you hold on just a minute okay I cut away cuz I'm slow going this is what I'm using, the country crop light. This is what I like to use. It's one point per tablespoon. And so that's all you need in here is one tablespoon melted. So I'm going to add some of these things to my eggs before I add the milk just to help me blend it in better without having to get all wild and crazy with my whisking because it happens. <laughs> so then we want... A quarter of a cup of sugar-free pancake syrup, whichever kind you want. This one happens to be um, zero points for a quarter of a cup. There's one I used to eat, and I can't even remember the name of it. It was really good, but a quarter of a cup of it was a point. So I don't think it'll make a difference in this recipe, but if you were just eating pancakes and you wanted um, syrup, it would make up points different. So quarter cup of the pancake syrup then I use the Lakanto brown sugar substitute use any brown sugar substitute you want or use brown sugar just be sure and point it out I I did not check the points to see how it would be if you used plain brown sugar so I'm gonna let you do that then a teaspoon of vanilla extract and I have my homemade from Diane. Thank you, Diane. Y'all might just sit here in it, but I told her. So a teaspoon of that. Then the other teaspoon is gonna be maple extract. And this comes from I think any grocery store. I either got mine at Walmart or Food Line. But you don't have to get it off Amazon is my um, point. Ooh, that smells so good. Now, the other thing is just a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll just get this kind of mixed in. I got a little couple of clumps of sugar down in there. Hold on. That really smells good. <laughs> And then it's just two cups of 
plain unsweetened almond milk. Now, if you felt like using vanilla, I don't see why you couldn't. I don't think it's, the vanilla almond milk is, I don't think, I could be, my, just my interpretation, I don't think it's too strong vanilla to make it too much add in your extract. So just get that blended up real good. Then what we're going to do, let me pull this back over here. Try not to go in front of you. Just take our bread and just pour the egg mixture all over the top. my whisk back over here. I'm going to push it down there. What I tell you? I say everybody in the pool. <laughs> Let's get everybody in the pool. Did I tell you that was 12 slices of bread? It is 12 slices of bread. Now when I made my last one, I forgot to put the milk in. And so I caught it before it got completely baked in the oven. I I think I literally had it in the oven and then turned around over here to clean up and I saw the milk sitting there. I was like, oh no, and a couple of you said you were screaming at the TV screen, the milk, the milk. <laughs> so I had to pour it in afterwards. It still turned out not as blended as I would like, but it still turned out. So I got the milk in this time. So I think I got... It looks there we go okay I got that as good as I want to get it now the other two ingredients are the pecans and the bacon I'm using 42 grams of chopped pecans I would like them to be a little bigger if I chopped them myself but when I use something I don't remember what I made but I bought I think they're called the chips you might see a couple big ones I had left in my container but I bought the pecan chips, so that's why they're um, all small and uniform. <laughs> Do not for a minute think that I chopped them like that, because mm -mm, y'all know that didn't happen. And then I have five, six, seven slices of cooked and crumbled. It's fully cooked, but you do have to cook it in the microwave because it's cold, obviously. It's the Great Value brand. I love this bacon. It has the best flavor. Now, are seven slices of this going to be the same size as seven slices of bacon that you cook? No. Nowhere close. So, you if you don't use this, then calculate your points for as much bacon as you want to add to your um, casserole. Because here, this is something else. You put as little or as much as you want in it. I had originally, when I did the recipe builder I had a lot more pecans in this because I could get them for the points and then when I weighed them out over here I'm like, Ugh, that's just too much too much um, nuts because I want it to be nutty but I don't want to be like you sticking your hands down in a bowl of nuts you see what I'm saying I just want it that's why I wish they were bigger so what I'm gonna do let me see I'll just use this spoon I'm going to sprinkle and you know what I may after I see how this um, does, I may m measure out. I don't think we're going to need nowhere near. This was 42 grams. We're not going to need nowhere near that many pecans. Because like I say, that's going to be too, too much, too much action. <laughs> there. I'm gonna, after I do this, I'm going to pull y'all over there and I'm going to wait and show you how much we should, um, how much we have left I think that is I think that's plenty I'll tell you what when we taste test it I can tell you if I think it needs more then the cooked and crumbled bacon and one more slice of this took it up wait it was actually two but took it up to one more point so I have it now at five points per serving and this makes six servings and the original with nothing extra added is three points so personally I think two more points for some pecans and bacon is not a bad deal when you consider 
one six the size that you get. So I'm cool with that. Now let me slide this over and let's see just how many grams of I'll just use this. Exactly how many grams of pecans we use. So that's 23. I had 42. Hold on. Alexa, what is 42 minus 23? 42 minus 23 is 19. So I use 19 grams of pecans. Listen, that is one of the handiest things you will ever know about Alexa. Is she does all your math for you. I do. If I if I had asked her if you could go back in the history, which I'm sure you can, I've just never checked. If you went back in the history to see <laughs> what all I've asked her, I bet I've asked her 945 times. How many tablespoons are in a quarter of a cup? How many tablespoons are in a third of a cup? Alexa, how many tablespoons are in a cup? Because I cannot remember. I have it in my cabinet door. I can go over there and look. But nine times out of ten, I'm sitting over there calculating the recipe. So <laughs> she gets asked often. I, I ask her about my weight. If I'm um, not going to the app yet, I ask her about my weight. If I'm putting it in my book first instead of doing the math, so I ask her everything. Get you an Alexa. She's very handy. And they're pretty cheap on Amazon too. It's just the Echo. I have like an Echo Dot. And then each room has the little. No, I have an Echo. And then each room has a little Echo Dot. I also, um, let me tell you this. If you have Spotify Premium, I don't know if it's still doing it. But they're giving away free Google Home Minis. Don't know why unless it's just... Uh, um, a Google to, to get people to want Google so you get one you like it and then you're gonna buy one for every room just like I did the dot because it's handy in every room I set alarms but anytime I need it I have alarms set for everything y'all have heard it when I'm cooking y'all have heard it go off um, so go check on Spotify premium if you can't find out where it is just just Google because <laughs> we all use Google Google Spotify free Google home mini and see if you can get one because I got mine it said it was worth 50 bucks, and I had it in the, the one spare room that I didn't have one in, so there's your little extra bonus with our casserole day. I'm sticking this in the refrigerator for a half hour, because I'm not waiting for overnight. I'm going to get this done today, and then I'm going to pop it in the oven at 375 for about, hmm, my pen's in the way, till it's done. <laughs> Still, it's done. I'm looking over at my, my notebook, and my pen is laying Dry it directly over top of how many minutes you bake it. So I'll let you know when it comes back. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, so this baked 35 minutes. I just set it for 35 minutes and come out and it was done. And they do puff up and then I've let it set and cool and it, you know, goes back down. If you can tell, it even pulls away from the side of the casserole. Now this make I got my fork. I'm ready. <laughs> So this makes six servings, and they are nice, nice size servings. And I've let it cool enough because I want to be able to taste it and let you know if there are enough pecans and bacon or if we need more. So let me try to get this as close as possible, which is, whoo, oh, well, I thought I had my big, my big spatulator. <laughs> but I don't. Anyway, you see how nice it holds up. It's a very, oh, you see that steaming? Oh, I don't want to have to swallow that thing whole like I did the other day. <laughs> that, that chili casserole was hot. So what I want to do first is taste it without the syrup. Now, you can see be careful i don't want to lose all my toppings because they're not pressed down in there you might could do that when you bake it maybe kind of just tamp along the top to get it into the egg maybe a little bit better but i think it'll be okay you see that that's why you don't want your bacon trying to go the escapee route okay 
I'm cutting away. I'm going to blow this. And I'm going to taste it. And I'm going to come back and tell you. Okay, as you can tell, I tasted a couple, <laughs> a couple times the first bite. I wanted to get another bite without the syrup. And then I tasted one with the syrup. The flavor is delicious. I honestly think I will go up on the pecans and on the bacon. I shot it low because I thought that's going to be enough. But frankly, for my taste, I think it can use a little bit more crunch and a little bit more bacon flavor. Um, and if it takes it up one more point, it would go to five, which is what I thought I had it at anyway. So I was excited to get it down to four when I um, reduced the amount of pecans. It did take it from five to four. I'll have the, uh, that's blue. I'll have purple and green on the recipe. <clears throat> and you'll find the recipe on my website. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think next time I will add more bacon and more pecans. And definitely, even though it tastes good, Definitely put the syrup because that just sends it over the top. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Joan, uh, my good friend, the ball is in your court. So start studying on it and let's see what we can do next because I'm going to start studying on mine. I've already got a few ideas. And as much as we're in sync, you're probably going to do it. <laughs> so I better have two ideas in mind. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Have lunch, breakfast for the rest of the week. I'm eating this this morning. I'll have five more days. That'll take me all the way through to Friday. So there you have it. Maple, pecan, bacon, French toast, casserole. The longest recipe name in history. <laughs> so I'll see y'all later.